How's it going guys? This video was requested by Dog Supremacy for Luard vs. Night Rose. This one was a long time coming, so dog, appreciate your patience, man. But we finally got it up. It's a fun one, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're interested in requesting matchups or getting early access to our videos, check out our YouTube memberships and our Patreon. Link will be in the description below. And with that, let's just jump right into the card fight. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll go first. Oh, spicy little hand. I kind of like that. Maybe when I have Cheeto dust on my fingers and I shove it inside a child's mouth. Sorry, it's gross. <laughs> These are on, right? Yeah, okay. You can my water bottle. Ugh, I'm gonna wash down all that Italian sauce, all that roni. I, I already did my redrawn bullshit, so I'm just waiting. Right. <laughs> I'm waiting. So you're going first? Yep. <clears throat> all right. Stand up, Stand up vanguard. vanguard. Root. Petey. I thought you just said P. <laughs> P. P. <Piss. laughs> Draw for turn, check top five. You know what I'll say it, I, I miss Dynamax. You miss what? Dynamax. Dynamax. Uh, I don't. I just didn't think there was a single, I mean there were some Dynamax moments where I was like, oh they kind of look cool, but then there were others where I was just like, dog you kind of look cool. I just, I just like P. P. <laughs> what? You can't Max Pikachu. Oh right, right, right. Um, I'll add the Astral Chain to hand. Um, and then I have to discard you. Okay. I think I'm mine. Yeah, I know what I need to discard. I know what I must do. Mm. We'll discard Dagda. Mm. And pass turn. Draw. Ride. Go Draw. And then <clears throat> get my quick get shield. Guys. And then this thing. I think <laughs> the savior of all of existence. Yeah, this thing. <laughs> Vanguard skill top five for a grade three. Yeah, I Gonna... just remembered I have to get my movie ticket for tomorrow before a seat goes up next to my friends. Whoops, forgot about that. I got a little too silly. Yeah, I'm gonna add Beatrice. I'm gonna shuffle. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna discard Beatrice. Yo, I wish I could do that. I think discard and not sweat that shit. I think that's the right thing to do here. You just you just get to. Yeah, set up your winning turn already. Uh, yeah, I you're think chilling. That's okay. Cool. All right. Periodically, I'm gonna be checking my phones. Hello. What? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Well, now I want to guard it. Uh. No, I was thinking about guarding it anyway because you're using. Sure. Fucking... What what counter blast am I gonna do, Richard? What counter blast am I gonna do on turn one? Huh? You want to answer me? Yeah? Yeah? I'm just kidding, I'll take it. Oh, $30 card <laughs> that I need three more copies that of I've now. I uh, used to have a playset and then I sold it. Ride Leo fail, skill. I'm so mad that I did that. Oh well. Uh, we'll call out Nemin and the Nemin skill to call something else. Like so mad at myself for doing that. I think I'm gonna do the dump hood play just for deck thinning. Okay. Yeah. I don't need a second Nemin. I can't use Abyssal anyways. Who cares? Speaking of AI art, did you see that um, there was a tweet from DC Comics with a picture of Superwoman and the Supergirl. art- Supergirl. Supergirl, sorry, that's, Supergirl. That's, yeah. You oh, saw the tweet though, right? A while back, right? The one where her like thigh is just like gone mm, from- No, no, no. No. It's just a regular like painting or drawing of yeah. Supergirl, but we've been so Oh, where people like, Hyper. It's, it's AI, it's AI, Yeah, it's AI. well, no, because like it genuinely, like at first I went, that looks like AI, straight up. And I, my yeah. first thought was, did DC just do AI art? Uh, and then there's the author's note yeah. from like community post. Oh, just straight up like it this said, is not. This is not AI, this yeah. is original artwork from this artist. Yeah. And people are saying that AI probably heavily referenced a lot of his artwork for a lot of the AI you see today. Yeah. Well, so uh, comics industry is having a little AI problem right now um, where things are kind of going like unchecked or kind of like, you know, like, oh, you may have started with AI. But basically there's this artist who has, I, I, I loved his art. Uh, his name is Andrea Sorrentino. He did mm -hmm. um, the Green Arrow series um, in like 2014 with uh, one of my favorite horror writers, Jeff Lemire, who just fucking rocks, uh, Discard Buster Dark. Mm. Um, and his art's just amazing. It's very like collage-like, and he does things where like, he will pick parts 
of like um, a like you know like a full page spread, and then like frame them, and then like alter what's within the frame, you know, to show like damage or like like um, there's a character uh, whose power is like sending out, you know, like um, he basically just makes everyone's heads hurt, basically. Oh. And so like he does this really cool spread where there's a bunch of people like you know like cringing around him, like holding their heads in pain, and. Uh, the I believe it's like black and white, and then the like radius, like the the radiating yeah. of his like mental waves. I forgot what it's called. So are you, Count Vertigo. You um, you saying that made me yeah. think of this tweet where this this artist said did a drawing and said me projecting my <laughs> menstrual cramps onto Vegeta. That's literally that's literally what he does. Yeah, um, he, get, he basically just like can project out waves that make people have vertigo. Yeah, like, um, and, <laughs> and the girl recorded the tweet and said. Oh my God! People are power scaling my menstrual cramps against DBZ characters. That's based awesome. on this drawing. Eight Vanguard. So anyway, yeah. Um, and then like the the like waves when they hit people, he would do like a little box around it, and then show like red lines of like pain going through their brains and show yeah, like yeah, X-rays. Yeah. Super cool. I love his art so much. And recently he did some like Joker series or whatever, and there is like, you can tell what he did was he just did so much AI art. And then, mm. like, you know, painted it, like, like, posted over it, basically. Gotcha. And I'm just like, bro, like, y Damn. you are you are a premier artist. He did like one of like the bigger horror comics with the same guy, Jeff Lemire. Like after they left DC, they went on to do a book called um, Getting in Falls, which was like really fucking good, except for the ending. It was wildly inspired by like Twin Peaks and other kind of like surrealist, you know, like horror and like psychological thriller but the art is so good and that's how i got introduced to andrea sorrentino and i was like holy shit i love this guy like what else is there and then my friend told me about his green arrow run and i was like oh. i like bought the collected book and i was like oh my god this is so this art's amazing i love this guy so much and then just like a month later i see on twitter like yeah andrea sorrentino we're all we mm. all think he's using air and i'm just like Damn. okay it's over but the fact that like this is something that has like seen shelves it's a little like because normally there's like an editor, you know, that checks the work and is like, yo, no. Like if like they get something wrong about a character or if like the art, there's something wrong with that. Like yeah. that's why um, in Batman, I think it's called Batman Damned. Uh, we don't get to see Bruce Wayne's penis. There's, there's a, there is in the original art of this one, it's black label, which is DC's like adult. I went eight by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna do a quick shield. And then 10. Uh, for DC's like adult label book, um, when they were first launching it, they did a Batman series where Bruce Wayne is like totally naked, and in the original, like his just his dick is just out, and they're like, yeah, we can't do that, so they literally just like painted over it in black, and That's I'm like, really funny. I'm like, so for your debut of your adult oriented book label, you censor out the penis. Got it, DC. I'll just take it. After they canceled their previous adult label, which was called Vertigo. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, um, nice. Oh, no, I don't want that. Oh, this was the artwork. <laughs> so you can see why I thought. I totally good. see it. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is not AI original by Will Jack. I've never heard of Will Jack before. Part of the training data. That so checks out. Yeah. Because you can tell, like, a lot of AI is probably trained around, like, painter work and, like, high oh, yeah. art you know like like finer art basically yeah and just yeah Stuff that but the there was also like um, easily replicate there was recently like a bunch because the new solicits for like the comics we're getting for like the next few months came up so we get to see like a lot of the covers for like the you know issues and there was a shazam wonder woman and supergirl um which i mean well i guess it was like action comics because supergirl doesn't have a comic right now which is stupid um or it might have been Power Girl. No, it was Supergirl. Um, all of them were AI art by like the same artist. And they were like kind of up and coming, like a new person. Like this wasn't even like Andrea Sorrentino using like his foot in the door already, you know, to just be like, I'm just gonna like coast now. Because the comics industry also has, before all the AI art bullshit, has had a pretty, I don't wanna say consistent, but like, you know, it's weird that it happened more than once, um, issue of like these big artists, like, you know, like breaking into the industry with some like stellar work with like one hit series. And then after that, they're like brought on for a majority of books, you know, because they're like, your art's amazing. Like we want you in this, we want your name on the cover to get people to buy these books. And they just start tracing. And one of them actually for like, he did Fantastic Four for Marvel when they did the Ultimate Universe for Ultimate Fantastic Four. And a majority of it is traced 
from porn. This is so funny. So Sue Storm does this like one face where she like opens up her mouth and it's like straight up a one-to-one -one of this video. Some like like blonde lady getting fucked or something. And I'm like, God. And one of my current favorite artists in like an X-Men run that I've been reading from 2021 or uh, 20, 2001, uh, Extreme X-Men, like Salvador La Roca, his art in that run is like amazing. He doesn't do any like line work and everything is like, or like any like shading or something. So everything has this kind of like blended look to it. It's like very pretty, it's very like soft and it works out for like all the characters and their designs in it. And now he just traces and he doesn't even trace well. It's like everything he does looks like shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm so heartbroken. Anyway, past turn. That's my, okay. It's my spiel. Yeah, so like the comic industry is like, y'all, what are you doing? Combard. Oh yeah, we search boat. Where are you, boat? So boat. Oh, thank God, I can get in with my friends. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. F10, F8, and then there's, okay, F10, 9, and 8. All right, sick. I got my movie ticket to Monkey. Nice. Thank you. Now I just have to watch Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes tomorrow, and I'm all set. Do you know about that movie? No. In, I think, 2000 or 2001, Tim Burton directed a reboot to Planet of the Apes following either Mark Wahlberg or Matt Damon, where mm. they, like, actually go to an alien planet with apes, and they, like, they, like altered the designs to look more like alien or something, and it's, like, super <laughs> cursed. Oh. And, like, everyone agrees. They're like, yeah, you should watch, like, the originals because it's, like, you know, classic, like, 70s, kind of, like, campy sci-fi, and it's, like, oh, it was, like, doing, like, the first of its kind kind of thing, and, like, you know, all the, like, anti-war, anti, like, nuclear, you know, devastation, um, like, rhetoric in it. You know, all that's really cool. Um, you don't need to see Tim Burton. <laughs> Which is that's crazy, because really it's like telling someone you don't need to watch a Tim Burton movie is like kind of wild. Right. Can do this. Yeah. Ditch Mill 2. Put something from Drop back in my hand. I'm just going to do a PG. Have you watched the new trilogy yet? The, the modern trilogy? With James Franco, the other guy, I watched and the other guy? The first movie and a little bit of okay. one of the other ones. The second one, Dawn, is the best. You should just sit and watch it. I, I really need to just sit yeah. and watch all three. All three because well, I want to do I want to do like a marathon with you and Justin, because okay. like Justin would love those movies. You would love those movies, especially if I, we did it I as know a group. I would love them. Yeah, I have a list of movies that I want to either watch or rewatch exclusively with you guys because I know that like either they're really good movies and we would just all really have a good time, or like they aren't really good movies and we would have a really good time. That's really funny. Like I want to rewatch. Um, some of like the Michael Bay Transformers in the eyes. Because I think it'll be- skip that one for a while. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm like, let's get through everything else on the list first. We gotta get through the Fast and the Furious franchise first. Oh my God, I've never watched all of it. It's a, it's a trip. There's like three or four movies that I haven't seen yet. <laughs> I actually love the first one though, just because of how like Mind campy it is. And I'm like, yeah. go white boy, go. No, yeah, it, after Fast Five is the it, shift. Yeah, that's when you they're really, like, we're in Hollywood now, baby. You really notice the yeah, shift in Fast that. Five. Arguably Tokyo, I think arguably Tokyo Drift, because I feel like mm -hmm. with t Fast and Furious, which is the yeah. fourth one, yeah. it kind of goes back into what the, it used to be. So what happened yeah. with me was I watched, I like marathoned them over the summer with my sister who had already watched all of them. And she was like, I'm rewatching them for fun. But she was like, it was on her laptop and it was her decision of what we were watching. And she was like, so we're gonna watch one and two. We're gonna skip Tokyo Drift because it's not even like the main cast. And then we're gonna like, watch stop i know and i was like wait stop. i was like i thought that one was like why would you skip peak <laughs> yeah i was like i thought that one was like really popular just like yeah but like it doesn't follow like the main characters and i'm like wrong wrong i'm like but it, it ties into the sixth one because the first one i watched was the sixth one with ben and jose like you, you know when it came out yeah, in theaters yeah. we all went to see it and i was like yo that was so fun but who are all these characters and then when it ended and it tied into tokyo drift i was like i don't understand what's going on and ben was like oh it's like it ties into the third movie. And I was like, oh God, I need to see the third one now, most of all, just to like yeah. connect it to the sixth one. And also, one. if you watch literally the very end of Tokyo Drift, yeah. Dawn is in, he's in He's in the movie. That's infuriating. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like my sister. If you're watching this, fuck you. <laughs> I am Nix. All right, anyway, I uh, took your rear guard. And I, I, I let you kill my rear guard. Oh. Yo, cat on the table. We need to get a button, like an alarm. I don't remember if I drove Chuck. You did. Okay. Wait, did you? I don't remember. I remember what card I saw. 
You did, because remember I was like, I'm taking it, do your drive check. But I don't remember if I drove check. Do you just want to drive check now? Because I didn't see anything. I think I did drive check okay. because I added this back to my hand and there's another card, and there's in front a card on of top it. of it, yeah. I think though. So. And you don't like whiff. Oh yeah, I'm a 10k. Oh yeah, that's why you did that. Oh, is it my turn then? 24. <laughs> is it my turn 24? Um wait, actually it's annoying. I'll take it. Stand through your power. It dies and I draw a card. You can't hit me even more now. Pass turn. Stand and draw. Um, okay. Ride Luard, acquire a gift. Um, how do I want to play this out? We'll use Nemin for sure. Just probably to get out another Nemin. Because I ain't counting counter blasting for Abyssal right now. Um, oh cool, I get to retire your rear card. Haha, <laughs> that's so helpful. <laughs> um, let's see here, what do I want to do? Ooh, that's not a bad plan actually. Okay, we'll do this. Call Belial because it's second effect to draw, it does proc. So ability. Oh, it's specifically grade one. I forgot that the, yeah, that sucks, okay. I can either kill both of these. Yeah, because then I can just call a new one out. So retire, draw, retire. And I've got, you know, enough in there for it to be free. So I'll kick the two normal units back and then I will ride the grade three from deck. No, just a double brain one? Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, like, I thought you put a Nemin back in. No, no, I was going to, and then I was like, well, actually, I don't need Nemins on board right now, so why don't I just get the brand ones all back in deck? I gotcha. Uh, so ride Drag Driver Luard, acquire another gift, um, and then I will activate ability, counter plus one, I will get to search for two grade ones. Let's do, what's my soul like? I could just do Daylid for the draw, and then... Your Vanguard does not have the ritual ability. That's right. Okay, so Daylid's out because that's not a thing. We'll definitely do Blue Espada for that sweet little deck thinning. I could probably just double Blue Espada right now. Oh, no, no, no. no. Abyssal for um, uh, the retire next turn. What if I kill it next turn? Okay, Richard. Then it goes in my drop, which is where I want it. <laughs> and then I'll just take Din. Good. Sick. So I called out Abyssal, and then I'm going to call Belial in front. <clears throat> there you go. Now attack at that one. <laughs> Do it, Richard. Um, so my Vanguard's at plus 10k. Uh, oh, sorry, ability on Blue Espada. Gotta do that. Mill three. We'll check three for a card I don't run at all and put them in a drop zone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's actually, it's not, that's looking pretty good. Um, hello, Ellie. Just push her. Not like that. <laughs> I, that wasn't even that forceful. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so sorry. Uh, 18 Vanguard. <laughs> God. Now I'm fighting for my cat. Oh wait, hold on. It's five or more ones, right? One, two, three. No, I don't because I sent two back. That's right. So he's not, he's, he's just 18. <coughs> um, no big powie. I'll take it. Cool. Uh, let's go. Yeah, cause you're a 9K and this is gonna be a 21. So let's go 23 to Vanguard. He gets power regardless, right? Yes, he does. Dude, 10 for the turn, so this will be 34. So sure. two to pass. Gotcha. First crit, all fixed to Belial. Wait, how much are you at? 34. 34. Oh, but that's only the guard. Then you go to 19. So yeah, all fixed to Belial. Second check, okay. So 31 to Vanguard. Wait. Yes, it was the 10k crit. Um, Errata Belial, make him a 10k. I'll try something silly. Yeah, man. I'm going to PG, Yo, and I'm going to discard a card. And then since I have another copy of Water Spout Jin, can I charge? Yeah. Can't remember those. Nope. Um, okay, end of turn, uh, add to soul, I re-ride Luard and I acquire another gift. Um, I guess it doesn't matter in this situation. I'll just put it here. Your turn. Drop. Right, Night Rose. Uh, it is the main phase. Any main phase shenanigans that I can do it's right now? It's actually the end of your ride phase. Isn't it funny that every phase has phases? I'm gonna, since it's my main phase, I'm gonna use four, but all surrogate. Search for two threes. So we're gonna or do one six. Night storm, and you know what? Let's just get this out of the way. I'm gonna call Night Rose, just to get it out of the deck. Cut your tail. Night storm is gonna call Hollowed. And I will discard a grade three as part of uh, Bandit's 
Rum Skill and strike it onto my Night Rose Vanguard. Flipping a copy of Bandit Rum face up. And I'm gonna grab two uh, Protect Markers and we're gonna put <coughs> them here. Uh-oh, that's a big boy. Uh, stride Skill, okay, last. Choose a card from drop and call it to rear. Sure. Calling Greed Shade. It's gonna get 2K from the Stride Skill. Then Greed Shade Skill, we're gonna ditch a card, mill two, choose a card from my drop zone and add back to my hand. Wowie. And then, yeah. Call. Battle phase. Do I have 10 cards? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. You and me both, brother. Do I have magic number? Do I have 10? 20 to Vanguard. 20. That's nothing. I'm so tempted to just not guard that, but I need to get stuff in my drop zone. What will I do? No, I'll take that. That's, that's nothing. So with skill, plus 10 to Van, draw a card. So this will be 36 to Vanguard. Uh, yeah, I'll take it, that's fine. First, power and rear. Yeah, I locked you out of healing. No! Oh, yeah, second. I made the right move! Third. It's like I become a semi-confident player when I play Shadow Paladin. <laughs> Something like reawakens within me. Uh, skill, I get to choose a card from my drop zone and call it to rear. I'm gonna call Ghost Ship, and Ghost Ship gets an additional 2k. Do I wanna do that? Throat goat on the ghosty boat. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, then 26 to Vanguard. 26 to my 13. Interesting. Actually, I need that. Um, how much is your other guy? He's at 31. Oh, and he's gonna call something out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it end of battle? End of battle. End of battle. So you can just call something on top of your marker. It actually has to be the other uh, column. That's his wording. That's sick. All right, cool. 20 what? 26. 26, okay, so I need 15K. So, I'm about it. So I need to keep that, I need to keep that, I wanna keep that. So my main option is just to go. Cause so I guess I have to G guard here, but like, do I even bother G guarding or can I just, I can just discard the heal, it doesn't really matter. Cause I don't need any of these face up in G zone because my deck doesn't do that. So I'll just, fit, you know, 28. This dies, I draw I a card. I really wanna to go to five right now, or go to almost six. 31 six to Van. 31, I guess I have to G-guard that one. Ritual's online, so 38. So end of battle, since it was hollowed, I counter blast and I choose a card from my drop, call it to rear. I must play last turn, and so the Abyssal, I should have called up the Nemen because I knew I would have enough counter blast to do plays. And then, I could have kept a Nemen on board to get out more ones just to deck then. I'm gonna call Jesse. That was stupid of me. Because he didn't get a trigger. Big dumb idiot. So Jesse attacks, it gets 5k. Yeah. So it's gonna be 14 to Van. To Van? 14. I'll take it. Cool. Trigger. And then at end of battle that it attacked, it dies in a counter charge. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And then no more attacks. So end phase. This was hollowed, so it dies. I am at GB2, so Night Rose's GB2 activates. I will mill three, three. to call back a oh. unit oh. that died. So I will call oh. it back. Oh, oh. That's, you're gonna do some combo wombo next turn. All right. The goal is to not give you a next turn. Um, ooh, okay, this is, this could get slightly goofy, but I think I'm not going to do it yet. Uh, stride with Gillinger, or mm -hmm. Gilling. Um, stride in two, more Fessa. So, let's go. I think I just immediately use more Fessa's ability because I don't need to deck thin yet. Or I can do that. No, that would be silly. Yeah. More Fessa's ability. Counterblast one, flip a G unit, we'll retire these two. Draw two. Uh, all my triggers are now ones also and I will draw off of Belial and counter charge off of, um, whoops, counter charge off of Abyssal. And we are at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
we're gonna get there. Um, I will call Daylid and then call Cursed Eye Raven over it. So now we're at Ritual 10, I'll use Raven's ability, rest, shuffle the deck, check top two and call it to a rest. Getting some kind of deck thinning here. Sick, that's not gonna, that's, that's gonna stay down there. And I will call out Blue Espada ability. Mill the top three. <laughs> Beautiful, except for the heal, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I will call Cursed Eye Raven on top. Do I, do I need to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cursed Eye Raven skill. Go back to Grozny. Yeah, he was good for the meta when the game was way more grindy. Mm -hmm. uh, bottom, and I will call out Leofail, no skill. <laughs> it's funny, I could use Leofail if I wanted, but. Oh wait, actually? Yeah, call it a Nevin or something, you know? Yeah, actually, and then I shuffle the draw that's on the bottom of my deck. So that's like, yeah, it's just one place, so I can do it. Okay, sick. Um, well, I need to be careful of what's in my deck because I need to keep grade ones in for when I use Dagda. So mm. I think the move, honestly, is just search for the shuffle. Not even called Charon? Well, that's what I was thinking. But... No, because maximum I'll be able to pull off is two Dagda, and that's like with luck. So I should call out the Charon. Yeah, you are right. Okay, call Charon. And then Soul Blast one, and Counter Charge one with plus 3k. Um, and then I will call Dagda over Leofail. Blue Espada might be able to chill, or I can do that. I can do that. Put that back. I'll call Vicro. I should have actually. Yeah, did you even use Morpheus' skill yet? No, you did. Yeah, did I did. Yeah, that? remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I will do, because it's going to be attack, attack, skill, attack, yeah, so. Call Luminosa Wizard plus 10k. A big little guy. Mm -hmm. Or girl. That's a girl. Whatever, who am I to guess? Um, okay, this is, yeah, this is what we're doing. Kind of should have swapped that, but I don't really think it's, no, no, it's not. Yeah, that is the right play because the Dagda is going to be calling stuff to the stronger, stronger column. So let's go 16, 26, 46 to Vanguard. Two damage? Yeah. Watch this OT. Oh no. Play a, play a really depressing sound effect on that. <laughs> okay, um, let's go, let's go Dagda for, uh, oh yeah, I miscounted that. That was actually bigger because of the 15K. Um, 24, 34, uh, 45 skill with Dagda, Counterblast one, retire Vicro. Um, or does it have to, it's grade one or lower, I'm pretty sure. Grade one or less, yeah. Yeah, because the Vicar I can shove to Soul and get the counter charge. It's not that big of a deal if I know if I retire these. So that, but first off, paying cost. Call Branwen and call Branwen. And then um Well well hang on, I learned I learned today that we gotta we gotta give him give him one of the like, Oh, I've never seen someone do that before. It's <laughs> almost like my shuffle is fucking awful because <laughs> don't take care of my sleeves. Um Vicar is skilled to counter charge. Is there anything? Yeah, yeah. Uh cool. And then, how much you say? Fifteen k? Forty five. G guard. Yeah. Uh, 14, 24, 34, 45, Yeah. Going to this thing. I'm gonna soul blast one. Choose two cards, different cards, and drop and call them. Whoa. Flippy. So right now we're at twenty six. Forty one. 56. To your how much? 36, 41, 56, 45, you were safe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, you guarded from hand, right? And I want to guard, I do want to guard from hand. Yeah. Still. Oh, I see what you're doing. So I'm doing that. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure that I can protect myself. Yeah. It's important to have protection. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. 
43 to Vanguard. Elementary. <laughs> First crit, all fixed to Brand 1. Second check draw, power Brand 1 draw. Third check stand. Oh, okay, that's fine. So Brand's at plus 30k now between triggers and um, Vanguard skill. So plus 50, plus 60 because of their skills. So 76 to Vanguard. G-Guard. Damn. Damn, my deck's out. Yeah. Banquets, we're gonna do Counter Blast, retire a rear guard to then call a ghosty normal unit. Boop. And then we'll use Beatrice's skill on place. We're gonna Soul Blast one to call a card from drop zone. Yeah. Cannoneer. Cannoneer's skill. Kind of last retire the attacking unit, and if it's hollowed, you can draw a card. Do anything. Morphessa should be updated to give resist. <laughs> oh, I would have survived if I had a angel ladder. What's she doing? Hey! She's scratching on her scratchers. Yeah. All right. Um. End of turn. Unstride. Kick. I don't think I have Belials in here. I, I do. Yeah, yeah. I knew I had one. Yeah, I kicked the Belial back to deck, and I pass. Turn. All right. Uh, end phase, this was hollowed, so this dies. Yeah. Um, I don't think I need to use the mill skill. 23. Uh -oh. No, I don't think it's worth it. Things are getting serious right now. Yeah, so I'm not going to use the skill. So okay. I'll stand and draw. Such a small hand. Yeah. But will it kill me? Potentially. Don't know. I'm a little scared. I'm, 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 I'm a little fright. Yeah, might not do as much of the silly things as I want to do, but I am still going to strive. Okay, the... What? I said I'm okay with it. You're at five damage, so I feel like I can get away with this. Drats. He knows I'm at five damage. Yeah, just went in doubt. What am Bounty. I going to do? What if you like went to Catalina Island and you just like saw that like on the way? <laughs> You're just like <laughs> passing by. You're like, what? That'd be a fun little trip to do. <sighs> Go to Catalina. Would be actually hang out on like the the beach, you know, that like that doesn't have waves at all, and the water's all pristine. We could camp for two nights and roast some s'mores and eat raw fish because none of us know what we're doing. Call and call. I called two things. I'm gonna use Jesse. Retire two rear Jesse. guards. <laughs> Jesse, we need to retire two rear guards. <laughs> <laughs> and sure. Battle phase. Check out the zoomies. Jesse's gonna swing, so it's a 19, but when it attacks, it gets 5k, so it's 24 to Vanguard. Damn! I don't think Grand Blue is any kind of guard district, do they? Not with this, not with this one. No, okay, cool. I'll G guard. And we're gonna G guard with. Deep Griever Dragon. I return five grade ones to the bottom of my deck, and then I get to counter blast one, and it becomes a PG. If I even wanna counter blast. So let's go. Two. Three, um, four, and then what the fifth one gonna be? Hmm. I don't want to do blue espadas because if I use any kind of grade one stuff next turn, I just deck out. <laughs> no, Nevin's also not worth it. That's like terrible. I guess it kind of doesn't matter in this situation. I can just send back like. Do Dela just because she's something. Yeah. No, actually, then in that case, Abyssal just to be safe. Okay, bottom five. It gains 5k for every um, grade, I believe it's each unit sent. She's up to five, bottom 5k. She it is up to five. Each. You don't have to put all five. The point is to put all five so that I don't deck out. All right, all right. Depending on what I want to do. Fair enough. It also gives me options with um, Dagda. And I can, you know, like draw some of my grade ones off of like skills. So it's not a big deal. Anyway, that's just enough. I don't even need to do the PG. So okay. There you go. Stopping it. It's a long game. Yeah. Good, good finale. All right, so um, end of that right battle, it that. dies, and I get to counter charge. Okay. So now we <clears> will <throat> do, yeah, 26 to Vanguard. PG. Discord grade three. All effects. Mm -hmm. Main check. Nice, don't like that. I'm gonna use my fancy I'll tell dice. you, I don't like that. Third check. Well, Joe! Nice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Little Mickey Mouse here is going on. 
All right, so then I... Is that a lucky emblem? <laughs> it's from Kingdom Hearts 3. Kind of blast, ditch three cards. This goes back to G Zone face Can you up. imagine the type of person you would have became if you had played all the Kingdom Hearts games in high school? <laughs> like, remember yeah. when you almost did? You were, like, asking us about the games? Yeah. Like, a few years ago? You are like, I'm getting a PS4, and, like, I, I could play all the, the entire franchise. Um, that's already big, so I'm, uh, I'm just gonna put the marker in here. She's massive. Okay. Hmm. Now, the real question I low key is... might have misplayed with the G-Guard. That actually might have fucked me. Because I could have just guarded out normally, I think. Because it was 19k, right? This one, 24. The Jesse, yeah, it was 24. Yeah. yeah, I could have, I probably could have guarded out normally and played that way smarter. I got a little too careless. So you might have game now. So yeah. I'm just gonna swing a Vanguard on attack. Counter Blast, I choose a column, yeah. and I call two cards to <clears throat> said column. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do number, I think, at this point. Oh, because you can't use her skill, too, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, never, so I You think, have five in hand? Okay. Yeah. I'm thinking if I want to, like, protect myself, since that's already so big, just in case. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I think this is, this is the better play. Mm-hmm. And you're just swinging how much to Vanguard? Oh, oh. I do not oh. have a grade four Vanguard. Oh. I actually think I do want this yeah. instead. All right. So I'm going to use Greed Shade to ditch a card from hand, mill two, grab a card from drop and put it back to my hand. That just goes away. Okay. Um, but this does get 5k. This does get 10 because I- have his own ability, right? its own skills. So it's yeah. 22 to Vanguard. Oh, oh, she gets the 10k. Yeah, she gets 10k if you're a grade 3. 22? Yeah. You have other two. You have two other attacks. You actually might have game here. I still have my twin drive. I know, I that's what I'm saying. You, three you non, have game two non-triggers. Because I have to go this, 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 and then I need to just bank on something on my top deck. There's, there's no reason to look. Um, so to guarantee survival here, then I got to do this. Uh, 22? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's hollow, by the way. <laughs> Got it. Uh, oh, it does make a difference then if I do that. All right, so 22. Um, oh, I have an intercept. That's right. Okay, I got an intercept then. 23, 28, 33, 2 to pass. Okay, I'm so happy I did that. But what I definitely could have played this so much. I could have been so much smarter. The fact that you're guarding makes yeah. me think you have enough to guard both of these attacks. Well, yeah. All effects Vanguard. Okay. Aww. Oh right, yeah. I mean that was that was the right play. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Damn. Uh, this is plus twenty. So this is twenty nine, thirty four. PG. You got something for this big boy? Freeze you. Yeah. Yeah. No way. That's it. Stand oh, and top hollow. deck. Okay. Counter control. Flip yeah. two. Do I want to do the thing to mill three and then counter charge more? Whatever you want, baby girl. I don't think I need the counter charge. I don't think you do either, right? I no. mean, like, if you survive, then you basically have game next. I don't. I don't think I need it. Okay. So, so I stand draw. I can't stride. Damn. Guess I need to run the um, the. Uh, the, the one card that's like, if it's face up, you just get free stride for this game. No. <laughs> um, I just like went back to four drag fall. No, I'm not silly. Move up Branwen, call Dagda. Okay. Beautiful top deck. And I got all those ones down there. But it's going, baby. One damage, so. That's fine. <laughs> 33 to Vanguard. I still have my OT in deck. You do, I know. Mm. Power Van. 17. 27 to Vanguard, Dagda's skill, counterblast one, retire Branwen, search my deck for two grade ones. We'll do Luminosity Wizard and Luminosity Wizard for max power. Do I have any stands left in here? Yes, I do, because I whiffed the stands last turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh, oh man. Good lord, please Scary. let me see a stand trigger. I would love uh, that. How much? Um, this is going to be, ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, da. so it's 17, 27, just 27. Easy, easy guard. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah, just to put the pressure on, 13 to Vanguard. I'm stupid, I could have used his skill. No, because I only run the one copy, that's right. I really don't want to give the satisfaction of beating me with a trigger, though. 
Okay. The guard. But if you get a stand, will I survive? I know, right? That's the thing. If that stands, that's you put the power there, that'd be 24. Can't yeah. you just intercept this? I can. Oh, but that's but a... This is a big <laughs> one. I want to save that. That's just, this is plus 30. I know. I 30 just realized shield. that, yeah. So I want to save this. Mm. I kind of want to bank on you not getting a 10k trigger. I have a... Do I have a silly little idea? I do have a silly little idea. Oh my god. This, at this point in the game, in this economy? Banquets. Okay. Banquet skill. Yeah. It's higher. Now that I've paid the cost, I'm going to choose a normal ghosty unit and call it. And then I will use Beatrice's skill to... And this unit gets 10k shield. Okay. Soul Blast. You're definitely, you're definitely safe. Call Cannoneer. Yeah, Cannoneer's tired. skill. Tired Dagda. Okay. Or... Yeah, because if you stand Dagda, I'm fucked. Yeah. So I'd rather, I'd rather kill that. Okay. Hello. How's it, how's it sounding? This for sure has to be OT to pass. That is, yeah, because that's 47 to my 13. So you're, you're, you're or is it 30, 37. Doesn't he gain 10k from his own skill? It does. 47. First check crit, all effects to luminosity. Second check stand trigger. Stand, power to luminosity. <laughs> now, do you live? Hold on. 16, 26, 36, 46, 56. 56. I feel like said 56 twice. I, I, I think I did too. So 16 plus both are 10Ks, so that's 36, 46, 56, 66. 66. 66 to Vanguard, two crit. Okay, 22. No! Plus 30. Oh yeah, obviously, yeah. No! So, so 52. 52. You need 15K more. I heal. You might no, be no, able no, to. I don't. No, because, because, no, that because just it's... gets removed. <sighs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that Damn, was I really sick. thought I was onto something. I had this in hand. I drew this <laughs> off of Ken Near. If I had drawn a trigger, you needed 15k. Or any like this would have been better. That was 52, 57, and then you would need to guard for 72. Yeah, because I was at I was at six. Because I drew this, Bro. I drew this instead of instead of this or this or my OT. Oh, you didn't or... even have heals left in deck. Either. Damn. Yo. And if you didn't get a crit, my <gasps> OT would have saved you. I know, I know. That was that was the perfect thing, man. I love this deck, bro. Mwah. Fucking love Luar. Need to get an SP root.